Whoa, let's go back and start from the beginning, shall we? Prashanth was driving his Tesla Model 3 southbound on a California highway when traffic began slowing down. A Hyundai driver merged behind Prashanth since his lane was moving faster. Suddenly, traffic came to a complete stop, which caught a Ford driver off guard. He dove into the express lane to avoid rear-ending the now-stopped Hyundai. Unfortunately, the Ford driver didn't notice a Honda approaching at high speed in the express lane. The Honda crashed into the front end of the Ford before getting pushed up onto the median barrier where it got some airtime. Thankfully, both drivers were okay. Prashant called the California Highway Patrol and provided them with this video, but they said they didn't need it. Our guess is that it's pretty clear who was at fault since the Ford driver crossed double solid lines to get into the express lane. Prashant wants to give a shout out to his fiance Sri who watches all the Wham Bam channels, as well as his colleagues at work who asked him to share his video with us. Agus was driving in Orlando, Florida when a guy ran across the road and dropped something in front of him. Luckily, Agus was able to stop in time. The guy then proceeded to retrieve his item and that was when Agus noticed he was wearing a ski mask. As soon as he ran across the street, Agus saw two other guys chase after him. What do you think is going on here? Wait, is this an action movie? Jalen was driving with his girlfriend in Bismarck, North Dakota when they noticed a man in the road. Jalen figured he was just jaywalking, but then he realized the guy was coming toward his car. Jalen swerved around him before hitting the juice pedal and getting out of there. Jalen says that unfortunately, Teslas aren't really the car of choice in North Dakota. He's gotten plenty of backlash for owning an EV, but he can't help but love it even more when something like this happens. Farf Q was driving on a country road and a Jeep in front of him was third in line to make a right turn at a stop sign. The Tesla up at the front drove away. Then when it was their turn, the second driver in line stayed put. The Jeep driver was watching cross traffic to the left and failed to notice the car in front of him hadn't moved as he rolled forward and crashed into the back of it. Farf Q pulled over to see if they needed his Tesla cam video, but the Jeep driver admitted fault right away. It looks like a dog escaped from a Ford Expedition on the opposite side of the road from this submitter. This caused traffic to stop, but the driver of the Ford Explorer in front of the submitter wasn't paying attention and rear-ended the car in front of him. We can see the dog here before it enters the street, and again here when it makes it safely across. The submitter didn't want to be rear-ended, so he accelerated right away and left the area. A police officer behind him immediately activated their lights to control traffic. Teltuo was on his way to work in Huntsville, Alabama. He was behind a semi-truck when there was a sudden bang followed by a hissing noise that sounded like gas escaping. Teltuo backed off, afraid the semi was about to implode. He's still wondering what happened. He also wonders about the other drivers passing by, commenting, are they crazy? Do you have any idea what happened? Let us know in the comments. We've never seen anything like this before. Milo and his dad were on their way to get a Christmas tree. Milo helped his dad hook up the trailer before his dad took over and double checked everything. We're glad it was Milo's dad who checked everything last or we'd be feeling really bad for Milo after what happened next. The trailer fell off and it was brutally dragged behind the Tesla before smashing into the back of it. Somehow, only the ground wire broke and the lights on the trailer still work. And now that's a Christmas miracle. They hooked the trailer back up before going and getting their Christmas tree without any more mishaps. We're guessing they had to get a pretty small tree this year to save money for that repair bill. David was driving down a highway to his mother's house in Boulder, Colorado, when he noticed a semi-truck whose driver had forgotten to raise the support pillars on the trailer. They were dragging on the road and sending sparks everywhere. David got behind the semi and tried to alert the driver by flashing his high beams, but it didn't work. So he pulled up next to it and laid on the horn. Luckily, the trucker pulled over, and David assumes he promptly dealt with these slightly shorter support pillars. 
John was driving his Model Y in Toronto, Ontario when a pickup driver entered the street from a gas station without checking his left side. As expected, the truck didn't stop, so he hit the brakes hard. The other driver got upset and just kept yelling at him, go now, go now, evidently without any remorse. It was clear to Don that the guy was in a bad mood. Don wisely decided not to confront the driver and just drove around him. After he went by, the truck just sat there, continuing to block oncoming traffic. Don left us with a little puzzle to solve. Can you figure out what the truck was hauling? Leave a comment with your theory. An ambulance with lights and siren active was coming toward this emitter in the oncoming lane. While some drivers pulled to the right to get out of the way, one driver planning to turn left refused to move until they eventually pulled into oncoming traffic to let the ambulance through. Our submitter thinks that driver needs to go back to driver's ed. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to yield to emergency vehicles. This submitter had parked her Model 3 outside of a store in Texas. When she came back to her Tesla, she found a large dent on the driver's side door. She jumped in to watch the sentry mode footage and discovered the lady in a Subaru parked next to her had let her door get caught by the wind, which slammed it into the Tesla. Obviously, this wasn't done on purpose, but it still left our submitter with a repair bill of 800 US dollars. A lot of people comment on our videos that door dings aren't a crime, but who do you think should have to pick up the repair bill? In this case, should this be on the Tesla owner or the Subaru owner? Leave your vote in the comments. In the end, the Subaru driver was uninsured, so our submitter was forced to pay for it anyway. We've got one more video from the same submitter, but this time she was making a left turn onto a side road. There was a girl standing on the side of the road she was turning into, apparently waiting to be picked up by someone. Her ride skipped the line of three cars to turn around to pick her up, but they crashed into our submitter's Tesla and ripped off her bumper cover. Guess what? This driver didn't have insurance either. The Tesla went back to the repair shop, this time with a bill of 3,800 US dollars. Suda was driving his Model 3 on a UK motorway when traffic came to a complete stop in the right lane. A driver swerved to the left to avoid crashing into the car in front of them, only to hit a semi-trailer instead. Thankfully, everyone involved was okay. Eric was driving through a parking area in Yosemite National Park where the posted speed limit was 20 miles per hour. An impatient Lexus driver decided to pass him across double solid lines. Unfortunately for him, he hit the park ranger right on the spot and got pulled over immediately. Gotta love a little dose of instant justice. Alex was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged down a highway in Australia. When traffic in front of him slowed down, the Tesla stopped as well. A few seconds later, a Mazda almost rear-ended him, missing by mere inches and only because it dove into the guardrail. Both of them pulled over to check for damage. There wasn't any damage to Alex's Tesla, but there was a lot of paint damage to the other driver's car after kissing the guardrail. The other driver was shaken, but not stirred. Since it seemed the only damage was to her side view mirror, she left with Alex in the mirror. I don't know, I feel like my dad jokes aren't landing today. Jonathan was driving with his dad when another driver turned left without checking that it was clear. At first, Jonathan says they couldn't see the other driver because of the pickup truck and would have crashed into it if not for autopilot hitting the brakes. The lady who'd made the dangerous turn flew out of her car in a rage, shouting that Jonathan's dad had been driving too fast. The Tesla cam footage proves clearly that wasn't the case. Emiliano was paying close attention to another driver which had already nearly caused an accident. This van driver had made an illegal U-turn before coming back and parking on the side of the road. While Emiliano was keeping an eye on him, the cars in front of him stopped for a pedestrian and he had almost no time to react. Thankfully, he managed to save it and an accident was avoided. Max and Hazel were rear-ended by a driver who failed to notice traffic slowing down for a construction zone in Riverton, Utah. They said the Tesla applied the brakes and even tightened their seat belts before they felt the impact. It also turned on the hazard lamps before giving an error message that the car was no longer drivable. None of the Tesla's airbags deployed, but they all did in the car that had hit them. Max and Hazel wanted to thank Tesla for keeping them safe. This mirror is not 
stable. Leo had parked his Model Y at his wife's horse barn when Smokey the barn cat came by to check out the car. Leo says Smokey left paw prints all over the hood, so it definitely would have been easy to identify who'd been on his car even without the sentry mode footage. Art was driving his Model Y in Walla Walla, Washington when he encountered a huge gravel truck hauling large diameter gravel. As Art passed the truck, he was hit with a considerable amount of gravel rolling off of it. His windshield was hit by several big rocks, resulting in a 20-inch long crack. The Tesla also suffered other damage to the hood and fender. From the Tesla cam video, he couldn't make out the license plate number on the truck, so he was afraid he was going to be stuck paying the repair costs. Then he went through the footage frame by frame and found one frame from the driver's side camera showing the truck's DOT number. He contacted the truck owner and his insurance provider paid for the damage. Over 1200 US dollars for the windshield replacement and another 3450 for the body damage. Tesla cam to the rescue again.